Let me find the clicker here. I'm delighted to have been invited to Milan today to this uh, important conference. And I just want to dwell briefly on the scope of the presentation, uh, just to tell you what I'm going to be looking at, if I can, over the next 35 to 40 minutes or so. This is what IDC asked me to look at uh, in joining with you here today. What are the risks presented to business by the growing threat from e-crime? What internal governance should organizations be thinking of? How are information security and e-crime related? How can they work together to achieve a best result, a best effect against this serious challenge? What are the relationships between terrorism and financial crime? I'll come to that later on. And very importantly, probably for everybody here, whether you're in business, whether you're in finance, whether you're in government, are the countermeasures in dealing with e-crime effective? Well, let's move on. Every story has a, a beginning, and it has a middle, and it has an end. This story probably had a beginning round about the time of the late 1980s when I had a good friend, a chap called Dr. Alan Solomon. Anybody remember Alan Solomon? Yes, Alan. We used to work together in the software industry. And Alan called me one day and he said, I've got this idea. He said, I think viruses are going to be big. This is about 1989, 1990. It was a Saturday afternoon. And I said, well, all right. And I was running conferences then. And we did the first antivirus conference in the UK, in London. And he showed hard drives banging themselves together and PCs, IBM PCs catching fire. It was going to be big stuff. And I still wasn't convinced. But Alan later convinced me. And a little bit later on, I was so convinced there was going to be a problem that I tried writing to the Ministry of Defense. And I tried calling the insurance companies and saying, this is going to be big one day. And they all laughed. Because we didn't have an internet. We weren't joined up. And we didn't have ooh, young men like this one in the, the illustration, working, trying to access websites. And it's changed a bit since then. Because now we're looking at serial risks, financial risks to the economy, data integrity risks, people corrupting your data, or unauthorized access, happens frequently. Service availability, denial of service, I'll talk about it in a minute. Denial of service is getting big and bigger every day, more serious to large companies. The security of state systems, which I'll talk about later on. But in the UK, we talk about having our big databases online. We give them to government. And government promptly goes and loses them. You may have heard about our, um, our tax records being lost, some 30 million. One disaster after another. What are we going to do when we put DNA databases online? And what about the importance, as I'll talk about a little bit later, of protecting what we think of in Europe and in the, the Western world as our critical national infrastructure. I want to talk about um, cybercrime and disparity. Let me come back a second. I chair something in the UK every year called the E-Crime Congress. Some of you may have attended. Uh, it was the sixth E-Crime Congress last month. And it brings together government and business and law enforcement like the FBI, even the Chinese and the banks to talk about the challenges governing the fight and the management of organized crime online. They're all there. We had ministers there. We had bankers there. We had antivirus companies there. And what did they agree? They agreed that we had a problem and that we should do something about it. In fact, for six years running now, they've agreed we've had a problem. And ever since the young man, the script kiddies, and everybody else have been attacking the systems, it's been evolving. And now it's serious and organized crime gangs who are now in the internet threat business, the online crime business. So they agreed we had a problem and that we should do something about it. And this has been loosely described as security theater. We all stand up, we agree we have a problem, we all say we're going to work in partnership and do something about it. And next year we come back and what do we agree? 
that we got a bigger problem than the year before. And if we look at this issue of cybercrime and disparity, this, this slide is too packed. It could go on for, for pages and pages, and we pick out some of the detail. The rise of the criminal hosting model. Better botnet control. You've probably heard about botnets in the conference here. Some of the botnets now, the, the managed networks, are so large and so sophisticated and so clever that they'll even patch your system against other botnets. We have entire networks dedicated to the underground economy. Mule recruitment. In terms of mules, we're talking about the recruitment of people to act as bank accounts for serious organized crime groups. That's becoming a big problem. Social engineering is becoming a big problem. And in fact, the top figure, nobody can actually agree how big the cybercrime figure is. 